Okay, so uh, we're doing a personality feature today, and I know almost nothing about this guy. Um, full upfront about that. Um, I had this email sent to me a while back, and I haven't been doing these lately. But I wanted to talk about this guy. He's an interesting character from the looks of him. I've seen him on social media a little bit, but cool. he's no black alien or one of these other guys that you see all the time. So I haven't seen this guy before, so I'm kind of excited. Um, so the email comes from Sophie, and she says, Hey, Remy, I'm not sure if you've reacted to Raiden Dos Caras. Definitely not. Uh, before, but he follows me on Instagram, and he has a sim has similar body modifications like Black Alien and Diablo P Prado. Uh, I prefer his look over the island boys, honestly, and I think he's a pretty oh, good guy. I um, would think so. Everybody's better than the island boys. Yeah, they got the worst look of all time. That being said, their look is much more pleasant than their attitudes. So, right? I mean, there's not much, much there's not much good to say about them. And I've even thought about covering them again because I don't think I went hard enough on them last <laughs> time. They're pretty awful. Now, that being said, this guy's got some beefy horns. Oh, man, yeah. Like those, that's got to be like three or four times done. Um, you can't go that deep or that, like, out with horns right away. Like, that's a commitment. Yeah, you have to build them up, You have right? to build From them up or you'll tear the skin. Yeah. Like, so you that's because it's like stretching your ears, right? The slower, better. It's even more uh, sensitive than that. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, you, you've got to go slower with that. I don't even know what the time in between is, but I do know that was done multiple times for them to get that. And um, that sort of a modification, do you know? Is it like um, is it fluid, or they use like a like a silicone ball? Uh, they're I believe they're silicone. Uh, but I'm not entirely, I think there's different ways to do it, to be honest with That's you. That's why I'm asking. I was just curious if you knew, because I know, um, yeah, that there's different ways and they have different effects. Yeah, I wasn't I think, sure if you knew. I think there's different ways to do this. And I don't think that we've, I don't think we've put the final, like, pen on it either yet. I think we're still figuring it out as we go. Um, uh, there's some heavy scarification here. And he said his nose cut off, at least partially. Uh eyes blacked out it looks like uh they might be a different color it's hard to say yeah but uh lots lots going on here for sure and he's taking his tattoos farther than a lot of these guys do what i've seen a lot of times with these guys is like i've seen a lot of people with heavy mods all over their face and yeah. then they don't have a whole lot on their body right like like i, <laughs> I, I mean, see that a lot he's lately. got the horns yeah um but, like, there's not a lot of scarification in the body that I can see from the pictures that I'm seeing at this He's moment. He's got some implants in his arms, too. I was going to say implants, yeah. Yeah. But, like, when I look and I see the before... He's just a normal dude. No, that's not where I'm going. I'm, <laughs> of course he was a normal dude at some point. What I'm saying is... Where he is now is way better than where he was. Aw, I mean, he's not a bad looking guy. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just I like the look that he has his, now more his, than the old one. His aesthetic is pretty cool. Um, he, like, I definitely... It's more, it's more like, grown up in a way. I, yeah, as I think much as some people will think this is like freak show stuff, it's much classier than the old look, in my opinion. I think he's done a really good job to bring out some of his features. Yeah, I mean, well, obviously he's hidden some of them, but he's... But that's what I mean. He's definitely brought some of his features into the forefront. I do like the... Oh, he's got his ears pointed. They're not just... I think they're clipped. That is amazing. Right? Like, they're cut... I think he cut the top of his ear off oh, to man. get the point. I don't think it's... This isn't like the elf ear thing where they sell the tips together. I this really is, want elf ears. Yeah, but this is not the way that you would go about it. No, I wouldn't go about it because I'm a giant baby anyway. It looks to me like he's clipped off at least a part of his ear yeah. in the shape of a point. The probably, back half of his ear. And then probably sewed it up to have the point. That's super cool. Which is, you know, hats off to you. I, I've done a lot to my ears. Ear pain is weird. I'm wondering if it hurts more to cut your ear off. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's frozen when they do it. Like, I'm sure. It's questionable. I don't know. I, I know that. The, I feel like most of the people who are doing those procedures don't have the ability. No, that's not necessarily true. Like, for example, when Black Alien talks about his body mods, all of them, he hates being tattooed worse than anything. Oh, because, yeah, I guess. 
Yeah. Uh, Most I'm of that stuff of it from is a Canadian numb. perspective yeah. too. Like a lot of that stuff's not allowed here, but it's yeah, no, a little they're doing, different they're in doing other, much other places. More in other parts of the world for sure much more liberally and they're much more aware of how to do these things and, and make them fairly easy too yeah i uh, really love how his uh his horns stick out of his hair a little bit too it's, uh, i do like the horns to a degree that being said i don't think horns are where i would want them to be to do them myself yeah like if i wanted because i've had some people ask me if i would do any implants or anything like that yeah and for me i don't like this round look that they get and i don't think we can do anything about that either i'm a bigger fan of um when they get the uh, the the dermals with the little anchor and then you can screw on a set of horns yeah it's not super practical either though well i mean they're heavy those. They're like, heavy and they flop about, but like I've seen the idea some is, pretty cute ones. Vishalu has adorable ones. The idea with this though is not to wear them, it's to have them in you and have them always. Right. Right, that you're talking about, you're basically talking about like wearing a necklace. Yeah, right? it's that's, jewelry. That's not what we're talking about with this. This is body mod that you're living with, right? Yeah, oh so I know. If I were to do it, that would not be the route for me. Like I would do it like this. I think that the, I mean, if you, the roundness is probably, if it had a point, it would yeah, create it would puncture pressure, the skin. right? And puncture and yeah. maybe cause rejection faster. Like I'm not really well, sure. Well, there's all kinds of problems, but I just don't think that like we're at the place that we will be with all of this. Like, yeah. This is what I always say with, like I said this about uh, Tiamat Dragon Lady when I first started doing these, one of mm -hmm. the first ones I did was like, you can't be a dragon that well yet. Yeah, but eventually. But I feel like we're going to figure it out because <sighs> whatever humans want to do, we figure it out. So now that being said, these do work for him, I feel like. Yeah, I really like how sunken his eyes look. Yeah, they, they, he's created quite a bit of uh, depth with yeah. the, the tattoo work. But he reminds me of like a, like a drow, like a dark elf. Yeah, Super it does kind of look a little yeah. bit like that. But I mean, sorry if this isn't your intention, dude, but I like I like no, the look. It's a good look. I like the uh, scarification moon that he's got around his eye. Yes, That's that, really that cool. curve is so good. Yeah, it's a really cool look that he's got going on here. Um, this, this is a good method. Like, people will go with blackout to cover up a lot of tattoos, but... Um, I feel like if you don't like just solid black, this is a good way to do it with the scratch work. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, it's way too chaotic for me. And yeah. I don't think he's anywhere near done. I think that whole other sleeve is going soon too. Oh, probably. Um, I just think that like this is just such a, a progression that's all of his old tattoos are going to be completely blasted over with uh, some version of scratch work. Well, as, he seems like goes on. a little bit like you where he's kind of in love with the process, right? Oh, like, guaranteed. just going to well, keep going. For a lot of people, this is a lifestyle. Like, then you have the people who feel like when they go and buy a tattoo or a piercing, it's like picking up a, a shirt off a shelf, right? We have the people who, um, this isn't an argument against numbing cream necessarily, but they, they would be as far away from the process as possible, and they will even go as far as... Um, being knocked out before the tattoo happens you know right. and then they wake up and they have five tattoos a hundred grand later that's happening now that's amazing uh that doesn't make any kind of sense to me personally i want to be a part of it and enjoy the experience right. and i believe that this fella does too um seems to me he's uh He's not suffering for his life choices no, like most people. No, he looks people, pretty happy. Most people would expect that this guy is screwed. He's not going to be able to get a job. He's not going to have a family, whatever. Uh, he's got a beautiful dog. It looks like a daughter and a girlfriend that or seemed pretty enamored with him. Yeah. Wife, wife, girlfriend. Um, so I don't know exactly where this stereotype comes from that these guys are fucked for life the minute they do this. Mm -hmm. But it's almost never the case. Like if you get this far in anything that you love as a as a hobby or a passion, you can't do that without being successful otherwise. Well, I had someone come up to me the other day and they're like, oh, your tattoos are awesome. And I was like, yeah, thanks. And they're like, I bet you they cost a lot of money. And I was like, 
yeah, actually they did cost a lot yeah, of, of money. Course. And I'm like, I'm glad that you realize that because most people don't realize that. And they're like, yeah. oh, you must be homeless. You must not have a job. It's yeah, like, man, those, like, we, those people <laughs> must have an IQ of like 25 or something. <laughs> it's like, where do you think I got all the money to get these nice tattoos? Like this guy obviously has some sort of secure income because uh, yeah. these moths, they're not cheap. Yeah, this guy's walking around with uh, uh, about the cost of a house worth of work on him in some countries. Yeah. Um, guaranteed. And so I guarantee you he's doing better than, than some clown in the comment section on this video is going to think so. Yeah. And uh, I don't, Ooh, I, I don't think I, you honestly can't get this far into this without secure income. So whatever bozo out there that thinks this guy's unemployed, guess again. Yep. Now, that being said, um, this look isn't for me necessarily, but I feel like I've done enough on my own to know that, like, like to understand where it comes from. Yeah. And uh, it could very easily have been me in a different life, you know? No, yeah, for so, sure. I just set some really clear boundaries for myself. And I'm always waiting for the day that you come to me and say, Sarah, I'm going to black out my eyes. No, I know it's not going to happen. I have no but desire there's a for, never say never. No, no there's a, there is a say never for that <laughs> one because I have terrible eyes. I know. And I would very easily be one to go blind if it was going to be a thing. And that's definitely a spot so, where I'd, I'd put my foot down. It's too risky right well, now. Well, so. it's not even like whether you put your foot down or not, it's <laughs> not even in my head to do. <gasps> Wait like for it's, it. No, it's... You were Scuba Steve last week. No, it's ah. not, Anyways, not my thing. this yep. guy looks awesome. Yeah. He's got a great look. Um, yep. It'd be cool if he could, like, reach out and maybe give us a bit more of his story. I'd love that. Yeah, I'd love to know what he does and, um, yeah, where it's going and what the inspiration for it is. But overall, he's got a cool look, and mm -hmm. it's uh, nice to see some smaller-scale guys that are doing the extremes as well. So... Yeah. 